Hello to all my friends in the United Fanzine Organization and all you other people out there who are curious or, or just plain comic book people who are checking in on us. You know, it's a rainy day out there, which is okay. I'm stuck inside, but it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm on vacation anyway, so I don't care. I don't care. I got one more day left. After the day, I got one more day of vacation, and then it's like back to work. But I get another vacation day coming up very soon. And uh, luckily for me, I've accumulated a lot of vacation hours uh, at the company where I work. And so if I need to take a vacation, uh, or if they start cutting hours because of the corona thing, which they're going to, they're definitely going to very soon, um, well, I can use that vacation time. I've got like five and a half or six weeks vacation uh, hours available to me. Yeah, what? Behind me, what's that, huh? What's that? Let's take a look at it. By golly, it's the cover to Mantra number 11. And I'm all excited about it. It's, in fact, it's all over the place here. It's on the wall over here, too. Yep, yep, yep. Anthony Gray's a gorgeous cover with, with uh, Floyd uh, Sumner's uh, logo. And here they are. They're all over my bed. By golly, they're everywhere. Mantra, mantra, mantra. So, yeah, I got this new issue uh, finally uh, coming out here. I haven't even mailed out the first copy yet, but uh, here it is. Here it is. There's that cover. And uh, Doug Freeman's uh, uh, gorgeous uh, Nightman uh, back cover. Uh, Doug and I are going to be doing a lot of work together uh, very soon. And we got artwork in here by uh, Larry Blake and uh, Kim Hemmerlein. And artwork by me, even. That's right. Featuring BB and a monkey. You bet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. Larry Johnson, um, George McVeigh, and Tim Timmel. I mean, there's letters pages and everything. Um, and. Um, there we go. The new issues coming out. The only thing, um, and uh, here's some um, uh, man time. The difference, uh, the different, the difference. No, just the different. Uh, written by me and art by Tony Lorenz. The only thing I regret is that some of this art is slightly uh, over reduced. And um, but I was facing a lot of challenges. Not only have I not really. I can't say I haven't published because I just put out TF, the Tetragrammaton Fragments, a month ago, and, and I published the Beacon Annual uh, back in the fall of last year. But this one had represented uh, different, uh, different kinds of uh, challenges because some of the artwork was computer uh, artwork, and, and it was uh, tough to get it to reproduce well using those crappy copiers that they have at Kinko's, at least at the Kinko's that I go to, but it's one of the ones that's open. Uh, some other ones are not open, so I go there and they only have two copy machines. You have to make a choice between the two. I figured out which one was the better copier and I did the best I could. I think it turned out pretty good, uh, as I say. Not perfect. Um, just some slight production flaws. But I hope you guys like it anyway. But Mantra number 11 finally has arrived. Uh, it'll be followed soon by Mantra number 12. And, um, yeah, so I'm just staying busy. Now, what else is going on? UFO-wise, I got the sniffles. Yuck. That's no fun. Have you ever tried to, you know, when you wear one of these face masks, one of these masks, you know, and I got, I got a couple here, you know, I got, I got face masks. Uh, uh, here's one still in the plastic because we sell them where I work at. This one's two bucks. It's two dollars for one face mask, piece of paper. What do you want? Well, you know what? Um, I bought two of them because I'm just like everybody else. I'll, I'll pay the money. You know, I'm, I'm crazy. And um, but if you get the sniffles, if you got to blow your nose, and you got one of these things on, you know, I just figured, you know, it's paper, right? Just blow your nose in the mask. Makes sense to me. What do you think? Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, I'm nuts. Uh, other things related to the UFO. 
Uh, Larry Johnson came up with an idea, and Larry Johnson also came up with a gorgeous uh, full color version of the UFO checklist. And, uh, Larry, thanks so much. That is awesome. Uh, but also, Larry brought up the concept of uh, since it takes two months for each new uh, newsletter to appear, and the UFO checklist in that newsletter appears every two months, in between, if you publish something and you want to do a quick write-up of your own zine, add it to the checklist, that's okay. I see no problem to, with that. I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to propose any amendment or anything. I think it's a chairman decision. It looks like the battery is about to die on this thing. Uh-oh. That means I've got to shorten this video. So, hmm, what can I say really quick? Uh, yeah. Larry Johnson. Darn. Well, anyway, uh, everybody have a great day. Uh, thanks for uh, being in the UFO. Thanks for, uh, and welcome back Steve Shipley. If I didn't say it before, welcome back Steve Shipley. Great to see you back. Uh, we're going to try to increase the membership here. We're going to increase the membership. Um, and uh, it's one of the things I, uh, I'm concentrating, focused on. Uh, and also promoting the UFO uh, through my Facebook uh, pages and, uh, you know, and other means. I need to do some more work on uh, the Weebly site that Steve Shipley created for the UFO. Uh, I started working on it, um, and, it, you know, I'm going to do some more work on that. So that's on my mind, too. Okay, well, I will... Uh, We'll talk to you more next time. Uh, just checking in, and, uh, and that's all I have time to say, because this battery is dying. Bye, folks. Have a great day. Oh, guess what? Let's see if I can work it in really quick. Hmm, where'd it go? I just had it. Um, there's a guy who joined. Uh, I'm going to have to do some typing. Let's put this down for a second. There's this young guy, here I am, there's this young guy who just joined the um, United Fanzine Organization, the public site, as opposed to the private site. Uh, Ricardo Galaza, and I, you know, I, was, I was so charmed by this young guy, uh, he publishes fanzines and he lives in Ecuador. And, and here he is, right here, there's Ricardo. Um, you know, I sent out some questions and uh, I do that for people who are trying to join the United Fanzine Organization site. Why do you want to join? How did you learn about the UFO? And his dad actually responded. I'm spitting all over the place. And uh, yeah, this battery is really going to die. Okay. Anyway, Ricardo, uh, I, I, I talked to his dad. I told him it was okay if Ricardo joins. He's only 11 years old, but he's got talent. And he publishes fanzines in Ecuador. And here he is. He's got one out about the coronavirus, by golly. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's great to promote people. I was only 13 when I became chairman for the first time with the UFO. Yeah, way back then. Okay, I got to go. This thing's dying. All right, have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with this nutty video. And uh, adios.